What's up guys, today I'm not going to be doing a normal video, and as you can tell by the title, I'm doing another CurseForge tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be going through mod packs, shaders, how to add more mods to your mod pack, and how to play with your friends online. So first off, let's start with the mod packs. Let's just say you're browsing through the mod packs and you find a really cool mod. Now for this example, I'm going to be using this mod right here. So if you open up the world and you decide, hey, I want a few more mods, all you got to do is go back to my mod packs, click on the mod, go to these three dots, go to profile options options and then check this box off. This will allow you to edit the mods inside of the mod pack. So then you go up to the three dots again, you go to add more content, and then you can add any mod within that game version. Now let's say you have a forge mod pack. Now you can't add mods that are fabric or that don't support 1.19.2. So there are a little bit of limitations, but you can still add a ton more mods. Okay, moving over to resource packs. If you want to add a resource pack, go to add more content. And now you see this drop box here. You just want to click it and then change it to resource packs. Now you can add any resource pack that supports this game version. Another thing is you can add more shaders. Again, only if they support this game version, but most of them do, so you should be fine. Some shaders I do suggest are Bliss shaders, Complementary Reimagined, and Solver's Vibrant shaders. Now you can choose whichever one you do like, but these are the three I do suggest. Again, you can do the same with worlds if you do want to your own world. Okay, now, let's say you want to play online with your friends, but you can't find a mod pack that will let you play online with them. One good solution for this is to go to this website right here, scroll down, and it will bring you to everything that you need. Just make sure it is the right game version or if it's Forge or Fabric. How you can check this is just looking right under the name. See, this one is 1.19.2 Fabric. So if I wanted to download it onto that mod pack, I would look for 1.19.2 fabric, which is right here. I would install it and then it shows up right in your downloads. Now you're gonna want to go back to your mod pack, click the three dots, go to open folder. I suggest not bringing this into full screen, it will help later. Anyway, then you're gonna wanna click onto mods. Here's all of this mods that this mod pack has inside of it. Now you're gonna wanna go back to your downloads and then drag this file into the mods folder of that mod pack. So now if you get your friends to download that exact one, you can also play with them on there. The only reason that this is not an available mod to CurseForge is because CurseForge didn't make the mod. Plus, it's also nice because you can bypass the server hosting and save a few dollars. Now, I know this really wasn't a actual video that I've been doing, but it's just something that I feel like would help you a lot because I posted two other videos about shaders and CurseForge a while ago, and some people are still struggling with it. Anyway, on to the last tip. When creating a custom profile, you're only really gonna wanna use Forge and Fabric. This doesn't really matter, but the game version does. Usually 1.19.2 has the most mod packs from what I've seen, so I'm gonna click that. Also, Forge mods work a lot better together than Fabric mods do, so just keep that in mind when you're making a mod pack. Okay, now that you've made your mod pack, to add more mods, you just click the three buttons and then add more content. Make sure you keep these things here because that will help you find mods that you can actually put inside of the mod pack. Same thing for shaders and for resource packs. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. If you need any more tips, just comment below and I will get to it. Also, make sure to go watch my other videos because I don't just make tutorials all the time. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.